Let's take our strip now that we've done and put it into tool structure. Tool structure is the vehicle we use within LogoPress for inserting plates into the die. Plates could be round parts, templates, sub-assemblies, all of that goes in with tool structure. So note that it remembered our project name. It brings the strip assembly in and mates it. It mates it to the center only because this die set template has a, uh, the right hand plane is on the center line. So we'll change that by mating to this right hand face. And now it's a right to left feeding die and no need to be concerned with the fact that things are out of position because it rebuilds as we make these changes. Okay, and let's change the lift hole distance to five. All right. Next we give focus to the top so we can pick the die plate. and let's change the size of that die block, make it longer. There we go. And then we'll select the rail assembly, which includes the two rails and the stock tray. And because this has dimensions in it that begin with logo 3, those dimensions show up here in the lower left. It's uh, really the main thing that makes something a template in logo press 3. Very, very easy to set up templates. Make that smaller. Let's adjust the, make these a little bit thicker because I think we have to lift a little bit more than normal. And let's adjust this clearance, the milled clearance, which is a part of the rail template makes it super easy. Clearance in the Y, clearance in the X, and the radius. So all of that updates. Okay, and now let's add a plate. And we're going to add it to the upper assembly, so we manage the assemblies, so there's no need to edit the assembly in order to add a plate to it. LogoPress will do that in the background. The Rockwell and the material and the name will get pushed to the bill of materials. And here's what I like to call our mate manager, superimposed to this surface, and adapt the dimensions to the die block. So don't use the template dimensions but use the same dimensions that the die block has. So the template comes in and then it adapts itself to those dimensions. And let's make that thinner than the die block because it adapted that dimension as well. And let's add another plate to the middle assembly, the stripper assembly. And we'll call that stripper, of course. Select the material and heat treat. Z position. If I 
just type a number in here, don't pick anything, it's going to mate plane to plane, and then I've given it a distance. And again, it's got a right-hand plane that's in the center of the part. So we'll have to change that mate. Again, no digging around in the tree. It's right here. Super interface. OK. Let's make that a bit thicker because our rails are an eighth inch thicker. Okay, so we exit tool structure. And now let's put our rail clearance in the die, in the stripper. And this is just standard SolidWorks functionality, but note that uh, the sketch here that we're going to pick was in the template file, so that part is LogoPress. Using standard SolidWorks functionality, but I mean LogoPress is automating it. And we'll offset from the surface. We want to be uh, about five thousandths above the sur surface of the rail so we can make it serve as a balancer when there is no material in the die. When there is material in the die, it will be have a five thousandths gap. And there we've got our balanced stripper. And let's hide this sketch. I'll go into the tree to do that. I could just say view hide all types as well, but I prefer to do it this way for now. OK, let's see, what should we do next? Let's uh, mount these punches. And mounting punches means we're taking them. They're purple right now. They're in the strip assembly because they're purple. And we're going to, by mounting them, we're going to create derived parts automatically from them. When we pick the punch retainer, as you saw, it automatically recognized the parts under it. And I just changed that one number from 5,000 clearance to 4,000 on the die clearance. Uh, we can also change the type of step relief, whether we have taper or a step relief or straight land, whatever we want in the die plate, as well as the stripper, in fact. And we're opening and editing each part in the background, saving a bunch of time, as we do with all aspects of LogoPress 3. And now you'll see that the punches will become red. The clearances are cut all the way through the die. Uh, they're derived. They're now in the upper assembly. See you in the next video.